this one is your favorite. Yes. It's because um, it was the first um, experiment with the painter. Because, you know, it's painting and liquid, like um, carrosserie, carose like the cars. Mm -hmm. Because they have uh, many, many um, coats. Yes, of uh, paint and after uh, liquid, liquid, lacage, mm -hmm. lacage. <laughs> so how did this all get started, and where did the bones come from? <laughs> it's from the, the country. In the yeah. country, I found um, um, dead animals. Yeah. From a long time, so the bones are perfect, you know, clean and white. And I found this um, vertebra, vertebra, mm -hmm. and these are little bones of. Uh, and uh, I make this piece and I love the proportion it's very and I delicate, say yeah. it's like uh, a scepter you know and yeah. uh, for me it was so interesting to find to, to looking for what is a scepter you know because the scepter is this uh, object of uh, popes and kings and shamans it always is the you know a sign of power or protection for for the shamans, an object of protection. And I found a beautiful, how can I say, um, um, explanation. Uh, and they said the scepter represents the soul without coins. You know, so it's the end of the world. <laughs> because you don't need the, the, the point to hurt, you know, and, and it's a symbol of peace, of power, you know, of peace. You, you don't need to have the sword like this. Mm. It's finished. So now it's a symbol of peace. I love that. And correspond a lot of the the, the, the significance that I love. And you can hold it either way, right? Because I know when Alejandro gave to me, I said, he said, which way is it supposed to be? He said, whichever way it feels right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made a lot of photos with Alejandro the other day. Like, uh, but for me, it's an object to the protection, you know? Mm -hmm. he, he can be in the wall like a, like a paint, like a, a photograph, you know? And the colors, you you had the restaurant in mind. Yeah, right? there are uh, 13 different colors. Each How color have a... How many are here? 13? Yeah. Each color has a signification. Uh, the signification of colors is... Um, it's something like the signification of colors in tarot. You know? Really? Yeah, the black, the deepness. Uh, the violet, the um, health, uh, comme la, comme la tempérance, uh, the purple like this in mm -hmm. the tarot is little pieces always, little details in purple. The pink? The pink, uh, the pink can be the um, flair, no? The, the chair, the flesh. The flesh. Mm -hmm. The flesh. The flesh. And the silver? The silver is the moon, the archety archetype of uh, the woman, oh. and the uh, and the golden is the archetype of of, of the man, of the father, the sun. Oh. You know, the moon and the sun. In tarot, yeah. it's very important. Wow, it feels very good at my place. Yes, really. <laughs> I need yeah. to, to give you, you know, this is yeah, the support, you know the is. little support. Because it's transparent and it's, it's with the, the form, you know, so you can put it directly like this. Ah, oh, it's great. And I have a little signature. Because this is a series, a limited series. I made only, only 30, I think. Mm -hmm. 30, 30 pieces like this. And you have the golden. There's only one gold. 
But when I, I talk to you, I, I always think in this one for you. It's great, yeah. You can take it though. Really? Yeah. Wow. Do you feel the... I do. Maybe with the white, in the white... Uh, yeah, like this you can, you can see that... Uh, it's great. So it all started when you, it started partially with the idea of tarot, or mm. it started completely when you discovered these bones? Yes, when I discovered these bones, because, uh, you know, I, um, I have a collection, a big collection of bones in really? Chile. When did that start? How did it start? Very young. Yeah. I have a, a big cemetery in my house in Chile. Really? Yes, <laughs> with a lot, a lot of bones. Um, oh. Because I love, I love the form. I always was for me so something so interesting to discover. To like an archaeologist. Yes. And I always made figures like collage or little sculptures. But with this form, I would like to to make a series because I like the, this concept of scepter and uh, I like the idea to give it this, this character more, you know, like brilliant, like pop, like to, to more far than the origin, you know, mm -hmm. to rustic. This is more, it's a little... Decorative, but decorative, spiritual yes, at the same little, time. Yes, yeah, some humor, you know, mm -hmm. to give it to this piece of, came the, to the bones, to the... And after that I have a, another um, uh, idea, is um, I, I like to imagine who uh, was the animal who, who lives in this skele skeleton. Mm -hmm. Some kind of, uh, of uh, mythologic animal, you know. You can imagine who were here, you know, maybe an eye, Maybe flesh, think? maybe the plume. <laughs> wow. And do you feel like they had a happy death? Absolutely, because there were <laughs> animals in the nature. Animals they dead uh, in the like old or but in the nature. That's important, no? Yeah, no, it's a good energy. Because it was a, it felt like a good energy. <laughs> that was the first thing I thought of. And I thought, I hope they had a happy death. Happy death, yes, absolutely. Because I found these bones in the, in the nature. Mm -hmm. And there were happy animals. I have some bones, strange bones, you know. Sometimes uh, I buy some um, skulls, skulls of a uh, dog. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't feel a good energy because suddenly the guys who sell these skulls, uh, they found the uh, dogs uh, dead in the, in, the, in the street, you know, and mm -hmm. they take and they clean the, the bones, but it's, it's, I don't know, it's different, it really sure. feel different karma, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's important, mm. because I imagine that's a strong element when you work with it. Yes. It's because it's all about energy, I mean, when you hold it, it's all about giving you power. Yes. So, and you're not, and it feels good, not negative. Yes. So. Yes. Well, for me, it's really, it, I feel it's a, an object of protection. And. Uh, Do you ever take it out on the street with you? Like, yeah. Yeah. In the metro, in the metro sometimes to, really? to go somewhere. <laughs> and uh, it's impressive that people really look at me. What is that? What is that? What is a little object? Okay. It's not a cane. It's a pine cane. Yeah, it's too yeah. Well, it's just like it. this. It's like yeah. an object. Yeah. Soft. So if somebody wanted to order one, yes. how do they do it? They just come to you yeah. directly? Yes, on my website. Or What's the address? It's uh, sac sacrogonic.com.
S A C R O G O N I K. Yes. Dot com. Dot com.